So you've got all these news reports telling you inflation is going through the roof. You got this war going, you got the pandemic. I can understand how people are on the fence about buying a house. In this video, I'm gonna explain all the reasons why you should or shouldn't buy a house. So like I was saying, you know, there's supply chain issues right now. You've got inflation through the roof at more than 7%. You got the stock market acting crazy and it's volatile. You've got all of these other vehicles out there like cryptocurrency, NFTs, all of this stuff in the air right now is buying a home going to be a strong or a smart investment but before i get into all the reasons why you should or shouldn't go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure that means a little bit lightly on that subscribe and that like button to let the algorithm know that our content is worthy so that i can continue to make the content that you're watching so in order to answer this question you have to understand cycles the real estate market has a cycle the financial markets have a cycle the stock market has a cycle and guess what cryptos and nfts and everything else is going to have a cycle because essentially every cycle is fueled by the dynamics of human behavior and if you understand cycles if you look at every cycle what goes up must come down and so it's not scary once you understand that it's not a good market or a bad market it's just the market now the reason why i bring you this advice is that i run multiple real estate companies i look and study the market every single day and because because cycles are scary for people, it depends on what your goals are. So let's look at your goal. If you're flipping or speculating real estate, meaning you're gonna buy low and sell high, that old kind of thing, it's really a market that even starter homes have gone sky high now. And so if you're a newbie to flipping and you just wanna start out a flipping game right now, right now might not be the best time for a newbie to get into the marketplace unless they really understand the nuances of locality. Real estate is hyper-localized. That means that you, and you could go to any street in America or for the world for that matter, and notice that on one side of one street or one side of one boulevard or across the city line, values fluctuate greatly. And so if you are getting into flipping and you don't know the nuances of the market, Place and you don't understand how much things are supposed to be going for and the bottom falls out, interest rates go up and inventory starts to stack, what you end up doing is you might end up losing a lot of money. Now, I don't think that the home prices are gonna go all the way back to when the cycle began about 12 years ago, but I do believe that there is going to be a correction. Now, if you're a flipper, that's a different goal. If you're speculating, that's a different goal. I'm not gonna suggest you jump into it if you're a newbie and don't know or understand the marketplace. Are there flippers still making money in this marketplace? Absolutely. But they've got the process down. They've got their loans or their hard money or their cash readily available. They know exactly where to go. Sometimes they're going to um, you know, foreclosure sales. Sometimes they get probates. Sometimes they have off-market deals. And they're able to have that because they've got the infrastructure to quickly do that. And they've got the infrastructure of having contractors, and other people to quickly turn their homes around. They also know the process of getting permits on this and not getting permits on that. So they're already in the game. So if you're just starting to flip, I would advise you not to get into this particular marketplace right now. If you're already a seasoned flipper, then you already know the answer. You can fluidly move through the market and you know what you're doing. Are you buying your home for yourself or your family to live in long term? Then absolutely, this is a great time. And yeah, you're gonna get a bunch of gurus out there. You know, I know there's people, you know, flying around and jets that tell you don't buy real estate don't buy your family home rather cash out all your money invest in my REIT or invest in my fund or invest me buying another jet but don't get it twisted if you're trying to buy a family home or a home for yourself it's still a great time because money is still cheap to borrow and if you've got a solid job and you intend to stay in that home for seven to nine years you're gonna be fine because just like the stock market history shows that it's always gonna go up yes there's gonna be dips and bubbles bursting and all this other kind of stuff but if you stay committed and you're going to intend to stay in that home I say intend because life circumstances change right jobs change and relationships change so but if you can say okay you know I'm pretty stable in all of those areas and I'm gonna stay in the home definitely a great time to buy the one notion that I want you to remember when it comes to buying real estate is not just a financial decision it can mean stability it can mean that instead of you moving from place to place to place it can mean instead of your landlord raising the rent arbitrarily whenever they choose to or you getting a new landlord or you know getting uh, you know a neighbor you might not like across the hallway all of those things 
You know, a home can also mean you have more control over your living. All across the country, if you're renting, it's about $600 cheaper to rent than it is to pay a mortgage down. That might mean completely different in your local markets. For example, if you're in South Florida right now, the real estate market is white hot and it is impossible almost to get a house. Conversely, if you were in New York several months ago during the heat of the pandemic, that became a small buyer's market, whereas Florida is a seller's market. So depending on how you look at this, if you have the notion of buying and holding, it's not only just a financial decision, it might mean that it's more stability for you. It might mean happiness for your family. I believe in home ownership, not because I'm in the real estate businesses. I believe in home ownership because it gives you roots to plan out to if you want to have a family or if you want to, you know, take care of your parents or if you want to have a dog, for goodness sake, it gives you more control in your life. And if you plan to live there for a while, you're going to be just fine. So don't worry about it. Go ahead and get your down payment together. Save up for it. Enter the real estate market. If you want more investment advice like this, go ahead and watch this video next.